Hello everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to this video where we are going to be taking these two standard vehicles that I have. One is a coupe and the other is a four-door and we're going to be making them into police versions. So come along, it's going to just be a kind of a speed test challenge. So we have this police SUV, kind of looks like a Tahoe, Chevy Tahoe for those of you familiar with North American cars. And we're going to be converting this buckle steed and this buckle spur into police vehicles. So let's get going. First thing first, got to take away the sunroofs. Police cars don't have sunroofs. And then what I'm going to do, what I usually do for cars like this is uh, make it so you could kind of see while you're inside so I always put the angled piece like this or even a two too long or whatever it's called wedge by two like that and we'll put this one in here as well I'm trying to match the color of the interior right off the bat and then the rest are just gonna be regular blocks like that and over here like that and then here in the back we have to do the same thing actually where we're gonna use the wedge piece oh we already have one single wedge but let's remove it and we'll put a double just like that okay next the color scheme will be easy but it's the lights and the uh, computer equipment that we have inside here as well as the cage for criminals and the lock. Remove these things right away. We'll see what color is in here and just paint it like that. We're not going to worry about the exterior color just yet. Okay. We're going to get matching rims on all the cars. I guess the spur is the one that's in the middle here. Yeah. All right. Or it already had black rims, a little different color black because it's the blacked out version. Okay. So what I do want is this color and we could just easily replace and let's see if this works. Perfect. We'll make them the same type of highway patrol with that color scheme. I know the red and black or black and white is more traditional or classic, but I'm kind of going for that more highway cruise or highway, uh, highway patrol. There we go. Now in here we got this white. So I'm going to convert that tail lights as well. We're going to convert to this. The stripe down the middle, we don't need it anymore. And then the front. And we'll add some lights once we're done as well, once we're a little further along. Okay. And these side markers, oops, that one these ones here okay because this one has it but it's colored blue and now we'll do the same with this vehicle the spur now this one is a really cool looking grill like very aggressive looking and we'll need to put some lights in here so some of these grill pieces are going to be lights just like we have here or we might put a bumper guard all right interior wise let's see what this one has so we removed the mood lighting which is as expected we put just regular black seats
All right. Let's go ahead and scrap the mood lighting because I know that's potentially where we're gonna put the police badge on the door. So front and back mood lighting is gone. Okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna, instead of, oops. Instead of putting the um, door panels back in right now, what we're gonna do instead is put the badge right away. It'd be decent to have an undercover cop car too. That'd be kind of cool. But let's see what we got here. So we have this here, which we're gonna have to move to open the door. And that's on both sides. What did we do with it here? I believe we moved it. Well, we just moved it away entirely. And then I think we have the same thing here. Yeah. So I have to find a place, a convenient place to put that. But until then, let's just move it down here get it out of our way because we know we need the space to be free this is also a regular block this is also regular so all of these are regular blocks so we'll see what we can do to paint them and these are regular as well how big do we need the badge to be it's three blocks tall so we actually do need these to be clear as well and these to be clear as well all right now for this one same thing move it down here and move this down there and then just check that we're deleting regular blocks we have a speaker here which is expected we have these ones that are regular and i should have turned the symmetry on but will survive I think it's kind of like that okay so let's get that badge over here and it kind of needs a weird shape so I'm just gonna copy this out there and now that we're here we could delete this and delete that and delete that now what is no it should work okay I was gonna say that we may have a problem but don't make a problem unless there is a problem Perfect. And same thing here. And then on the other side of the SUV, we're gonna have to grab the other facing police badge. Just like that. Delete off the excess parts and then move the whole thing into place here and there okay we'll delete this one now we'll need to get the rest of the police lettering and to be honest it may not fit in this car because we have uh, yeah see it won't fit and we can't push it that way because of our I definitely deleted something here I shouldn't have. Oh, that was just the indicator. We'll put that back. So either then we move the mirror, maybe. On this one, it's going to fit. It's just going to extend back to that door. But on this little guy here... Because <clears throat> if I put that mirror up there, I think it's... Well, let's find out. We'll run a little test. So say the mirror went there. And say we have a regular block piece may as well just attach this all now it won't attach there we go we'll see if it glitches out attach that to the door attach this to the door same thing here oh the doors will not open because of this so i have to actually attach it like that let's quickly spawn and see if it works the mirror kind of hits that part so it can't open all the way so that is no good we're gonna move the mirror back there I guess alternatively could put the mirror up there and not have it move at all maybe that's the easiest thing to do 
and then that door should not conflict with that. It's kind of a wacky, really forward mirror design, but now that works. It just stuck on the car. All for the police. We gotta do this so we get our nice police badge on the car. Okay, so that's, oh, and that is anyways not gonna happen because of that. Should have seen that earlier. That's gonna take up some valuable time to my little challenge. And of course, this. Pairing that back in with the door and vice versa on this side. And we're gonna have to put a We're gonna have to put different colored painting on the inside of the doors. I always put like a darker color, so right now it's not matching, but I'll worry about the coloring after. Right now I just kinda wanna get the thing going. So for the small version, we could just make it, say police a little different, like a, a different font. It doesn't have to be the nice long blocky font. It could just be a simple font. And anyways, back to another problem is that, so in the SUV, that piece was much lower, whereas here we have the uh, fender or the side skirt is here. Hmm. You know what? Well, in this case, it's fine, but going back back in this car it won't work so I guess what we have to do is we're stuck with not writing police or if we do write police we have to move this down but let's just say we delete that keep only the badge on the door like this see how that looks actually And then what's the paint job color? It's like a blue and a gray. So this, oops. Should be blue. Like that. That actually might look really cool. Obviously the symmetry is not working for this car. It's not on the center. But on this one, it would work, assuming I didn't have these weird blocks everywhere that are missing. So, I'm actually here after move that random P, and I'll replace it with one of these. I would really want it to say police, like, I think it's not great that it does not say police. And then the cop car, or the cop SUV, it had the bottom bit is like a blacked out plastic fender. So we'll need to do the same thing here. In theory, they're all like matching specification and all that stuff, so I'm trying to keep it consistent. Technically, the whole bumper is black, so in theory, this whole bumper should be black. Hmm. Or just the bottom bit. And then here, the back of the SUV continues all the way around just like that and then the lights in that case would actually be as well the blue still nowhere police police isn't written anywhere which is a bit annoying I'm also gonna remove the spoiler police cars usually don't have spoilers they usually look like very standard so even these things are the vents are kind of too much but I do like the vents so I will leave them for now the dual exhaust as well like but 
I can I kind of do want it to look a little fancier. So now it's matching the paint job more or less. Now do I put the big blocky police font in the front like this truck? Not a fan of that to be honest. Hmm. But what I am a fan of is oh, these badges are so cool. Oh yeah, this car doesn't have the blacked out bottom or wouldn't be bl called blacked out. It's more like plastic, like it's just kind of cheap looking. Very standard specification. I'd be better off taking the uh, V6 version of this car and making it into the police car instead of the more beefed up one. And I'd be so it'd be more realistic. Just take the base model version and throw on, throw on the V8 engine into it. Let's do the mirrors. Always hate painting the inside of the mirrors. Actually, you have to move the whole thing out. For that, for that, I should have just actually grabbed the truck's mirrors instead of what I'm about to do. Because regardless, now I have to move them all out. So yet another inefficiency. Because now, if I put it there, it's already going to have the painted inside. Whereas this way, I'll have to yank each mirror off individually and paint it. Oh, interesting, that one went right on. Oh, it's because I was missing the inside piece. Got it. I was wondering why I had to do that massive copying block. Okay. Now the police lights are beautiful and they're made by someone else. I do have the link in my creations. And it is a modded piece. I usually don't use modded pieces, but this is one of those that just makes the look. So I can get behind using using them. And I'm going to put them a little back there just like that and then this one here I think in the same position cuz it has that so they'll have to go right there. really cool okay now for the highway cruiser I think I'm just gonna put little lights in the grills for this one since it's like more of a interceptor let's see how this looks on it now one thing just to optimize the game there is no need having the painted blocks beneath it. They'll just stop. Uh, they're fully hidden. I'd rather make the game run a little bit smoother. Okay, that looks good. You know what? As much as I like these scoops, I kind of want the very bland look of a, a V6 version. And then I actually could write police on, uh, no I can't on the, oh yeah I can. Because what, this is there and this one's here. So technically we still have these spaces that we could write. Or, or write up against it. And same thing here I believe. So I'll grab that police. And we'll invert it and put it right there. And one right there okay that's already looking good yeah I just something's missing without that so I guess if I were to drop this down I could write police which reluctant to do or or put it above maybe just maybe it does the exact same damn thing um, if I put it here Especially if I rotate it. So now it's spinning in that direction. If I spin it around and then flip it. Just like that. And I could put it up here. 
and attach it to that door and that attaches there and then I could actually write the thing. Perfect. So we'll do the same thing. We'll flip it upside down and flip it like that. I think we had it so the positive was spinning. Yeah, we just need to do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to this because end of the day, if it doesn't say police, then you probably won't want to pull over. You'll probably be scared that it's an impersonator. There we go. And then this is part of this door. This is part of that. Oops. Yeah, this is part of this. And then that will be part of the frame, which we're going to have to do some type of glitchy work, but whatever, like that. And then get in there and bring this in here, delete all that, and then just attach that to the frame. So now really only that opens. That's all written. And does this one have that as well? No, it does not. So now I have to make it. Oh, I see. I have to actually copy the lettering. And we'll add the 911 as well. Just like that. Attach that there, attach that there, and this. Okay, I guess that one had a block already that I created. Perfect. Much better. Yeah, it has to say police. At least this one does. The This little one, we'll see if we can get around to something else. But here there's no obstructions. Like in theory, this one would be simple just to delete this, 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 this on all these cases. And same here. And then we'll write police in a different way. But let's take this 911, put that on the back of the interceptor here. Except I can't put it there because the trunk thing is there. But what if I put it here? Or even here? And then let's flip it and bring it to the other side. Police cars always have lots of decals, so. Or decals, however you pronounce it in your area. All right, that's good. Now this one has police there, whereas this one does not. So we're left with a few options. Also, I forgot to paint this. We're left with a few options. Either we don't write police or I write like I put like a little badge or that 911 type thing. There we go. There's no little badge that I could grab, so. But we do have these cool lights. Okay, so that's also something we're gonna have to add. I do like the front of this one, it looks very aggressive. Okay, next, now that we have this, yeah, the lettering on this one. So let's actually bring this over here and paste it into the door. I'll just remove all things off it. Let's keep it going. Paste, paste and paste, and then we're gonna see if we can, oh, yeah, there goes there write police a little smaller. So here it is very wide. One, one, two, three blocks wide, but I'm gonna see if I can make it two blocks wide and closer to this. So it'd be like that. And then add the big thing here. I forget if it, have to keep jumping back and forth because I don't know exactly how it looks. It'd be smarter just to make a copy of it and refer to it on the spot as such. There. Okay. So just one instead of 
three. That one I believe is quite long, but we have the space to make it long. How long is our L1? One, two, three. So I guess this should also match, and it does. One, two, three. And the E has to match the same. So once it's there, one, two, three. And then the other one will just go two. So that actually works quite well, to be honest. Yeah, nice. And then we'll add the 911 on this one as well. When I flip it onto the other side, let's see what happens. Yeah, see, I have to move everything over by one block. I do hate when that happens. Or two, because now we have it like that. So now we got to go two, two, two. those of you watching are probably like what the heck is happening here but going on an in-depth journey of how I make things not bad actually move that over by two block that in move it over by two delete that and there we have it so now police is written there let's put the 911 here and here, kind of like that position for that. Flip it. Perfect. Alrighty. I'd say we're mostly there with the exception. Let's always add antennas. Police cars have lots of antennas. That's a good one to delete. This one's a good one to delete. Back here we have that. So these are all good. And let's put these kind of... So the interceptor is just going to have the two little ones. This one's going to have the same configuration as the truck. We'll put this thing on the roof as well. Presumably it's all from the same unit. Now that's just uh, fully visual doesn't oh oh there is a microphone my bad right on i forgot that i did that these are all my creations by the way for those of you tuning in that have never seen my videos this is not me stealing people's designs i kind of want to try the black bumper look Because without the black bumper look, I think that it doesn't, like, look right. Hmm. No, I don't like it. Not a fan. I liked it more with the body color there and then just the black on the bottom. Technically, I should be taking the V6 versions, which is very much... Uh, a lower specification than what we have here. Some cleanup details like that. Man, these are looking cool. Okay, this thing has to be fixed. So go a little darker and change the color of this. Same with that, same with that, and lastly this one, and then on this car, same thing. So it looks kind of like a little side marker. Okay, that should be most of the visuals that I could think of. Let's see if there's some weird coloring issues inside like this. Yeah, let's see. How's that happening here? It's like, oh, I see. The inside is actually the same color or the right color. Okay, now in here, we have some weird coloring issues to fix. 
So we have kind of a chrome top one. So that has to match, that has to match. Back here looks all good. Right on. And then in here, the chrome, and then that. And then back here, the chrome has to continue. Cool. All right, so we'll have to shove these microcontrollers somewhere. And then I believe we have here, these, do these lights flicker? Or just these ones? I forget now, left lights. Let's spawn them and take a look. Emergency light. Emergency siren, Yelp, piercer, mounted spotlight. So then here, when you turn it on, is where the emergency lights are. There. Oh, the side markers move. I made this a while ago, so I forgot. So the side markers and the lights are all flashing. So we're going to do the same type of system here in the other one. And then up here we have microphones. So we're holding it, and in theory now the microphone is active. Oh, this isn't even a hold. It's just a... So we'll have to fix that. Lock rear doors. I may not put this thing, the dash camera. We'll see, but regardless, now we have a better idea of what we need to do. So let's continue. So in this car, I think I'll put the wall, kind of like that wall for the more the interceptor version of the car. For the, um, for the highway, for the very much uh, sports car, obviously it's not going to have this in the back. Put that up there. We'll move the dome light. Where can we move the dome light? We'll move it over by one. To here. Did I have anything there? Hope not. the side was just like a regular rail so that's the little police cage in the back and then there's no need for that in the back because there's the window all right now it's the functional things that we need to add so in this case kind of think grill lights would be really cool maybe in both grills so I'm gonna take one of these indicators Actually, take that color, paintable indicator. And now I kind of want to make it match as close to, well, not as close. I fully wanted to make it match identical to what I just deleted. So I shouldn't have deleted that. Dummy. Okay. Indicator. Boom, boom. There we go. So top row is all just that, and that top row is all that, and then it kind of has a little dip where it looks like that. I'm just going to make them fully white so I can actually see what's happening. I guess all I need to do is make one and then inverse it, so let's just do that. This one's further along. I think it's only one on the bottom, and then the rest is that, so just like that with the black on top, and then every other one as such. And they just go down to the bottom like that, except the bottom is a black one, so I've messed something up. Oh, the chrome, shoot, the chrome. Well, in this case, what I'll do is just flip it. So do that and that, and then take the black, flip, flip, and this one. There we go. Now I can rotate the light from here to the other side. 
And then this is how it'll look when it's off. When it's on, I'm going to put the blue here. So we'll start with very bright blue in the middle. Hmm. Should I make it look like they're under the lights or under the grill? Like that. I think that'll look cool. Just like they're big lights. Kind of too big. Especially this this end part would probably not go like that. So I could see it narrowing down like that. That's probably fine. And then red will do the exact same thing. Start with that one in the center with two and spread it out two more. And then end off with just the uh, single ones. So one and the darkest. Just like that. And then let's put them in place. I do think that looks really cool actually. Lock that in place. And let's see, so for the other one we have the little grill guard, so I don't think we really need anything. That one looks good there, and then we're just going to make the backlights flash as it drives on both of them. But I do kind of want these police lights as well, if we can put them in. Shoot, so they counteract with, or they con conflict with the seat there. Hmm. What if I put it there? And they'll be part of the window and they'll close. Yeah, because then they'll work as part of that and will kind of be visible, I believe. On this car, we can't put it there, but we could put it just in the back seat. Or the back shelf, I think. Just like this. Yeah, that'll do. On the truck, we'll find where these lights are all connected to. So we have something called emergency lights right here. And I'm going to take that microcontroller and we're going to need to put it in the police car. Now, this is where the where it gets a little tricky because there's a bunch of microcontrollers that we have to move around and as you can see not very much existing space to put it in so without compromising or removing the weight which I don't really want to do and it's very thin oh let's just use this for some things like that could probably be used for the emergency light stuff I want to make it the same color though and actually let's use the bottom row so it doesn't end up uh, looking bad and I believe it was just the regular one but I want to make sure and we'll grab it again Now one thing that I wanted to keep in mind was that with these emergency lights, that's fine, but the other car is gonna, we'll see where we could shove that thing. And I don't wanna, like where the microcontrollers, and I don't wanna remove this 
lower side skirt. Obviously that if we remove the lower side skirt, we could put the microcontroller there. So turn this in to our lights. And the other one to our other light. And now we'll see what we have for the actual headlights to be like turning on or off. And this little display here, we'll need to change to read emergency lights. I think that's how we wrote it in the other one, but I do want to confirm. Okay, a little different. So we'll plug that in here and on this one as well, same thing. It's down there. Perfect. Our button three turns on this light switch, but now this light switch is not doing anything or this light is not doing anything anymore. So we could just scrap it. We have some space here too, it seems. Button three will turn on the emergency lights. Now on the smaller car, let's see what we could do here. See, we have a gas tank. There's not as much space because it's a much smaller car. And there's some piping running there. What about underneath? Because we'll for sure need our emergency lights and the door controls and stuff. Might be able to just take these ones out here for that emergency light controller. And we'll put that into the button itself. This light we do not need anymore. So we can go ahead and delete it. And again, clear up some space. And then we'll put that emergency light. So left, we'll go left. Oh, we have two of them and left on this one here and then right we'll go to the right and to these two there we've got to add electrical power to them obviously and to all these things and to my rear lights and then we'll do the same with the car here and it's emergency lights there and these lights there. Okay, cool. Now, how did we do these ones here? Ru so strobe, oh yes, I made that microcontroller as well, where it is emergency strobes in running lights. So on this police thing, we're just going to take these four out and put it here. That's nice and convenient for this car. We'll have to do something creative. Honestly, we might just have to sacrifice that top. This here to get as much space as we can. Hmm. I guess if we do something like that, it won't look too bad or even if we flip it, so you just get that backside looking normal and then in the trunk it'll be whatever it is. And we have the emergency lights on already, which is nice. Now our running lights are as shown. So this is all for the brake lights. That's reverse gear. 
So this car doesn't really have good running lights. Like the truck itself has the yellow running lights. But what we can do is either make the edge one be the running lights. Because you don't want to confuse someone into thinking that the brake lights are what's going to stop you. So we can do something like that. Looks more European that way, but those are the ones that will have flashing. Yeah, that'll do. And then in this case, we have the switch itself, which we're going to put into that button number three. And in this car, we'll have the same thing. Button number three, going to the switch here, and then our on ignition. And likewise here, the on ignition. And then right and left lights. So in this case, I want it to be opposite. I think that's what we did here. That I had the running lights flashing so I, I selected the left ones, even though it's right. So I want it to be flashing inversely. So let's to choose the left lights now. Here, or is it this very far one? I guess it's the very far one. And then we'll choose the opposite side up here. So that one. And then likewise here. And in the back, this one. Same with this car. And then this one will go up there and to the other side. I want to test that, but we can't even get into our cars without the doors being on the microcontroller, so I think it's time now to add the door. We have some wiggle room. We'll put that one there. And then the other one. Hmm, is there room in the back? Seems that there's some room. Like this one isn't symmetrical, so that one's gonna not really affect anything. Perfect. So the car is ready, and then for this one, I guess I could put it somewhere like, no, not there. It'll be visible. What about the tr lid of the trunk? What is up there? nothing technically so that'd be a very easy place to put them all maybe i just do that like that they'll all just go up there may as well we already have this large trunk now if we want to write police on the trunk then that's going to be a different story but until then i think this will work and we could at least test that all the lights are working and all that good stuff in and these guys here there we go that's all in let's spawn this and see what we've done So we got our running lights on now. Oh, those ones. So those ones, the ones I want actually flashing, but let's see if this works. They're not opposite. The front's opposite, the front looks good, but the back we're gonna have to do it so it's opposite ones. And then let's test the other car. There's something glitching out here. This car is shaking. Oh, I think the door is hitting into something. Yeah, it must be. 
the mirror if I close the door so the back is nice and opposite and the front is the same so we have two of the different issues on both here and we also want to make the running front light turn on as well so in that case what I'm going to do is that's one of the running lights so that's the same one as this so left light left light and then right and right the front was right up correct on this car so what was not correct was the back so in the back we're going to flip it so the right lights are going to go here and the left is going to go here i believe this one the back was good the front was not good so this one here will go in fact to that and it'll go to this and then that one will be for the left which is going to go here and here let's try that and i have to move the mirror on the door otherwise the car the other car is going to glitch but oh no well actually no that's wrong i want it to be flashing opposites so this car is in fact wrong the four door and then for the two door opposite and opposite or no same shoot <laughs> let's fix the mirror first before i forget we'll move, just move it back one block to there where it wasn't causing a weird glitch Same thing with this side, move it back one block so it doesn't cause our weird glitch. Okay, this is where the testing phase comes in. So what stays is these lights. So what changes is our running light slash indicators. So now in that case, let's plug in that one and that one. And then from this one, we'll plug in that one and that one. And that should now be right. Let's hope it is. So emergency light, they're opposites. Why is, no, the whole side's turning on. See, that's not what I want. I want one side to turn on. I want one side to always be on and flashing. So it's, it wasn't right. Something else was wrong. It could also be that these indicators should be on this side and the other one should be on that side. Let's try that. That's an easy fix as well if it's just that. There we go. Perfect. So things are always flashing. And actually, let's check in on the, the coupe. So things are always flashing. Perfect. And then, of course, if you have your lights on, then they're not affected, but all the other things are affected and flashing. And that actually looks nice up there. that blue I have to fix on the taillights that's one of the downsides of using a red car originally was that the uh, the color of the paint that we did a quick fill swap changed all of these to blue so now I have to manually go and fix them so it's oh no <laughs> whoops not these but rather the blue ones so these that just uh, what happens when you sort of play with fire here whoops that's not that's what I wanted there we go 
And then over here, the same thing is happening to these ones. So every other one gets changed to be red. Okay, and then we'll just turn these ones back on. Something is funky. There. Is that symmetrical? Oh, no, it's not because this has to be like that. Not symmetrical. Perfect. Let's see how it looks now. It's not blue, hopefully. Good. So the backs do look normal now, and then of course when you turn them on, then you get the different colored running lights, and then you turn on your emergency lights and they flash. Okay, I'm very happy with that. So now let's handle the roof mounted lights. So this is not my microcontroller, and for this one you can find it in my credits. Great job on it by the way, for the creator. It's very useful and honestly, it looks very good. So for that, I'm very thankful. We'll just paint it black so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. And we put that on all of these ones. And same thing here. Now I believe on this one, I just had it turn on with the regular old system. It all turns on together. Yep. So that's a-okay. We'll have the little uh, display button. Number three, turn on the light bar. And likewise here, number three, we'll turn on our light bar. And we got to put electrical to it. Oh, we did. So in theory now, all the lights should be fully functioning for these cars. There should be no more light stuff that we need to do. Fantastic. And let's check out our other one. Fantastic. Perfect. That does look very good, actually. Now I saw there was like some little dumb fixes. There's white parts inside the doors that have to get painted and stuff like that's not a, a big deal but it does add to the cleanliness of the product and project so i do like to go and make sure it's done before i accidentally forget because when you have too many moving parts all at once then this thing had to be that color the pillar And then this pillar is already good. Okay, right on. We got our light bar, so now we need all the siren stuff. And we need this moving, or mountable, or swivel light, sorry. Now the highway patrol won't have the swivel light. And what did I do over there? Oh, the hood was moved back. But what I will do in this case is flip the actual hood release or hood open function to the other side and move it out there and that way the hood still opens and I could actually put in uh, oh no we can't it'll have to be lower hmm so in that case what I'm gonna do this is where the new light, the new uh, update comes in for the swivel lights. So instead of having that whole rotatable thing, we're just going to put the light itself right there. I guess I didn't even have to move that hood release. 
and we'll plug it in make sure it works and same thing here plug it in now in this car we had this be rotated by the left and right function or left and right seat and we're going to do the same thing here with another microcontroller pivot aim this just aims it automatically for us but I think I could easily add another node number input extend the property this and in this case our input will be for one which is the x aim which is what we're kind of interested in here and I will put this to write new pivot aim um, number or move or controller because now we're actually controlling it and vice versa we're gonna say x axis here and I do want to make that save function here but sweep no I didn't end up making one which is good to know now we have it so that will be put on the seat left and right and this thing goes to the light itself now we've got to hide this microcontroller somewhere I guess we could hide it in the trunk in between the other junk in the trunk right there so now that will make all these there perfect and that's good so let's see if it works and I do believe I plugged it into the electricity so now it just matters oh there's no function to turn it on in this case the on switch was hotkey 6 which we called mounted spotlight so we'll make that match here we have all this other stuff that we're going to fill out because I want all the cop cars to be like on the same type of the same similar things so spotted mount light aim and I'm going to change that here same thing aim now it's reset, but I think we want it sticky. No, sticky will make it, okay, anyway, let's try sticky like this. And let's put our button six to turn on that. And likewise here, hotkey six will turn on the light there. That works. So the spotlight, as I hold it, it moves, and as I let go, it stops. So perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So that whatever I had it set the sticky at was like perfect. It was 10 or 11, 11. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Whatever, 10, 11. We'll add the microcontroller that's in our trunk. Put it somewhere where we can use it <clears throat> probably actually the middle is more important to weigh down than the edges the edges can cause your car to be off balance the middle is where you kind of want your center of gravity to be as much centered on so in that case we can now put that here and put the composite one on the light itself there we go so now that both cars have the spotlights Let's see the other stuff. So the seat here has bullhorn, which now we have to adjust for this car to also have a bullhorn instead of a regular horn. And all that is is just changing the little speaker. So our buzzer is set to bullhorn one with 98. So likewise, we'll do here, if I could find which one it controls. There it is. So bullhorn one with 98. Or 
proper 100 bullhorn one and then same thing here we'll see what number one controls same position the bullhorn one and 98 perfect all right that's number one number two we got our low beam headlights that's fine the, the siren is three yelp and piercer so number three is the actual siren itself and then we have the other things now i want to see where they actually all live in the suv hmm So funny enough, that's actually missed even here. It seems that the police SUV doesn't even have a working siren, which is my own fault. Like if I press low beams, it works. Bullhorn works. No, it does. So in that case, what I must have done is put it under the composite. Yes, that is amazing. Thank you, previous self. That actually is awesome. So now it's just a single controller. Unfortunately, it'll be a little tough to find space for it in the smaller car. I mean, without the sunroof now, you'd think that it could go on the roof part, but now with all these radio antennas and things, it can't quite hear. What about here? I guess it could go there, or on the top row of this, or what do we have behind here? We actually do have some things. What is, what is this? Oh nice, that's empty. Okay, so we're gonna throw it on the rear shelf of the police. Are. I'm just checking to make sure these aren't anything vital before I delete them. Okay, so past self did me a kindness. I made this controller that literally just turns on all the sirens as I want it. I'm going to throw that in there. We'll just paint it now before I forget. Okay, so that's in this car. In this one, we actually have space in the hood that I may just need to use. Like, all that's free. Oh, it has a longer hood. Because that aligns. So the sports car actually is... Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Let's go take that controller and plop it in somewhere. I'll try here first. I mean, I guess I could have put it in that space on this hood as well. But regardless, we've already done it. Put it there, connect it to the seat, and connect that rear shelf one to the seat. And then we just have to find where these, where all these sirens are. Hopefully they're all together, ideally. They are right there. I mean, for this thing, I guess, well, the sirens look cool, like the actual controller looks cool and they could kind of be mounted anywhere, so I wouldn't want to put it somewhere where it'll hurt what we're trying to do. I think a good spot would be right under here, just like that. And then let's put one in the four-door car as well, probably in the same spot or similar. No, we got some stuff down there, so we can't. I'm just gonna put it right here. Now we gotta connect the sirens. Now, what did I name them here? They're not all sequential. So the piercer is, all right, well, the middle one is the siren itself, so that's easy to remember. So middle one is the siren 
and then this is the Yelp and this is the piercer. So piercer is there and Yelp or blip is there. These things have to be powered up. All right, and then for this car, let's power the same things up. The middle one we found out was our siren. And then the others, Yelp and Piercer. So Piercer we'll put first. And last one left is the blip, which is right there. Oh, they're on toggle. Good that I caught that. And let's change the names in them. So emergency siren. And then number three, emergency siren. We already have that one. So four is the Yelp. And push. And same thing here. Yelp and push. Then the piercer push as five. There we go. So that should be all that stuff. We could fill or close this part of the hood. I think this would be a good place to write police, to be honest. This car, we can't do that because of these things, but we could write police somewhere else or put the 911 maybe on the lower part of the bumper to at least give some type of indication that this is a police car, just like that. Whereas here, I can write police. Most, how long is this one? One, two, three, four, three. So it won't even fit. So I guess like we'll just put the 911 there as well. Like that and close that off. Does it go all the way to the bottom? No, it doesn't. It's kind of centered, so that's perfect. Okay. Right on. Now the massive console. I think these cars don't have too big of a dashboard to fit it. This one might, actually. If I want to go ahead and throw in our clunky camera system. First of all, no, it doesn't because the windshield's in a different place. So that's fine. We'll leave it as it is. What we have here is the police one does not have the eco mode or performance modes. So we're just going to go ahead and scrap that. See what the police truck uses so max throttle seven in this case seven as well and seven i'm gonna beef him up a little bit to, to eight and that should be for the most part it other than the small fixes nice This one's really nice to drift too, honestly. Look at that. It gains control so easily. The megaphone. That's the last thing we need. If we're not going to have the working... Um, if we're not going to have the dash camera, at least we'll have the megaphone. So what we had here is... The megaphone is attached to just a simple 
audio microphone and a button that turns on that. Active is transmit. I think that one also. No, never mind. So make sure that this is plugged in. And same with this one. We're going to plug it in. And then let's just add our microphone button. Kind of weird that it's a toggle. You'd think push would make more sense, but like, I guess. See if we can even put it where it doesn't hit our seat. Hmm. This may need to be retrofitted for the car version then. Probably put it in or on the dashboard itself. Like that. Kind of like where a police radio would be anyways. Now I think we removed one of the safe, like the first aid kits, but that's fine. And then let's put it here too. And then just power it up. Give this some power and make the button there turn that active and that's already on and then we just need to put the audio up to here and audio to there so now hopefully that is all connected and plugged in and i'd say that with that our fleet of highway patrol vehicles cars and suvs is all ready so thank you guys for watching Hope you enjoyed it. I know that wasn't our normal style video, but nonetheless, I do find stuff like this to be quite fun. So stay tuned for more and stay tuned for more builds. Happy Stormworksing.